Here we have a problem where we have 50 grams of ice on some kind of hot plate that has an energy graph as shown here. Well, this graph tells us that the hot plate is putting out 20,000 calories after 200 seconds. And since it's a straight line, we can see that it's outputting 10,000 calories after 100 seconds. Well, that tells us that the rate of heat that this stove is giving off is, let's figure it out. We know there's 10,000 calories after 100 seconds. Thus, it's outputting 100 calories per second. That'll be useful later on. What we want to do is make a graph of the temperature versus time and where the H2O is, you know, water, ice, or steam. Great. Well, it starts off as ice, and so let's first see how long it takes to go from ice to water. Well, that's a phase change. For phase changes, we use the formula Q equals ML, where L is the latent heat of fusion. And for water, it's 80 calories per gram. Great. Let's plug in the numbers. Well, we have 50 grams of water, and that's times 80 calories per gram, and that equals 4,000 calories. Well, since the rate is 100 calories per second, we can see that the the time to do that phase change will be 4,000 calories divided by 100 calories per second, and that equals 400 seconds. Excellent. So we can now mark on the graph 400, I'm sorry, did I say 400? That's 40 seconds. 40 seconds. And so the temperature stays at zero. The temperature does not rise during a phase change. Now after 40 seconds, it'll start to climb. Great, let's figure out what happens next. Well, what happens next is that the temperature will go from zero degrees to 100 degrees. It'll heat up the water. And for that, we use the formula Q equals MC delta T. And we can plug in the values. We have 50 grams of water times the specific heat of water, which is one calorie per gram per degree Celsius. And the temperature change, well, it goes from 0 to 100, so it's 100 degrees Celsius. Excellent. Notice how the units cancel. We're left with calories. And 50 times 1 times 100, that's 5,000 calories. And we can therefore figure out the time. Well, the time is just that 5,000 divided by 100, so that's 50 seconds. So it takes 50 seconds to go from 0 degrees to 100 degrees. So let's make, so if that's 40, 50 is around here. So 50 plus 40 would be 90 seconds. I'll mark that nice and clear. 90 seconds. Excellent. Well, then what happens? Once the water reaches 100 degrees, it'll go from water to steam. And that, well, we can figure out how long that would take. We've got Q equals ML. Well, L here stands for the heat of vaporization. And for, for water, for H2O, I should say, the heat of vaporization is 540 calories per gram. So that's just 50 grams times 540 calories per gram. And 50 times 540 is 27,000 calories. And that corresponds to 270 seconds. So it's going to be doing this for a while. In fact, all the way up to 360 seconds. Great. Well, a bonus question is, how much steam is there at 200 seconds? 
how much, or let me put it a different way, how much water is left at 200 seconds? And I'll let you figure it out at home, but the answer is approximately 30 grams.